So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we will be doing the next uh, episode of the scrolling platformer. And I'm just going to scroll through the code for a little bit so I can show you guys. Just If you have missed anything, then you can uh, copy it down right now. I'll scroll a little bit slower this time so you guys can actually look at it better. So, so the tick custom block and all of this, and then we have the platforms, the platforms, danger. So we have this. And let me just delete that. I don't know why that was there. Um, so that's the danger collectibles. And the exit, the portal. Okay, so today we'll be working on the vertical scrolling. So let's go to our player. Let's go to the tick custom block. So you want to get an if then statement. If scroll y is less than zero. So this is to, if it's the scroll y is less than zero, it will not scroll. So if the scroll y is less than zero, then set the scroll y to zero. Like the scroll x, we also did that. If it passed zero, then it will not scroll anymore. Next, we want to add the vertical scrolling, so add this right here. So you want to change the scroll Y by the round. So this is just, uh, this is just to uh, make it smooth scrolling. So for here, we just set the scroll X to X. But if you want to make it uh, smooth, then you can do change scroll Y by round of the, just put a division symbol and then a subtraction. So y minus the scroll y. Then you divide it by 10. And then next, you always want to position it again. So it will go to the correct position. And if the y position is less than 180, negative 180, if the y, then we want to set exit to dead set the exit to dead now you want to go to the platform script we will add some more levels to the platform so remember you have to you can use the m to find out where you want to put the platforms we are adding more platforms so then we can see more levels when we're scrolling so I already have some coordinates I am using. So I will just use those coordinates. It may not be the same for yours because your platformer may be different from mine. So let me just quickly enter this. Duplicate this. Uh, let's go to level 3.1. Set this to 3.60. 3.60, 0. Zero three sixty and finally level four. Duplicate this and don't forget to change the level. I almost forgot to do that. Level three, level four. Set this to level four one. Delete this. Okay, so now I have all the coordinates to place all the clones for the platforms now we kind of work on the collectibles so I already have some coordinates for the collectibles as well so I'm gonna take this out for now so because I have to add a lot of script so I'm gonna duplicate this put the code so level 2 negative 79 negative 76 166 Two three two two six 
232. So remember, you can place collectibles wherever you want. I just did it at these exact places. You still have the mouse thing to find out where you want to place your collectibles. And finally, for a one, so I am done with the level two. Let me duplicate all of this. So then I can just put this down here. And instead of level one, we'll do level three. We remember to rename your levels. Negative 75, zero, 56, negative 65. 50, 10, 50, and we have three more to go, 910, oh yeah, and not five, it's 50, 50, 910, negative 60, um, 988, 60 and finally last but not least 1020 and 168 so we have to change this to level three right here uh it's already level three this is level four sorry about that so i just created one fruit at the end of level at the end just for fun so i just put it at 170 negative 175 and five Okay, so now we have all of our collectibles position, and don't forget to add this set x negative nine 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 nine, so we can move the actual collectible off the screen again. So now let's work on the saw. So I just got this saw from online. Um, so this saw actually has like a costume where you can um, uh, you can like make it rotate, look like it's rotating. Like a rotating blade so let's get uh, the code from the collectibles you can just drag and drop this into the saw we will not need some of the code however so um, in the beginning in setup you just take out this we will it's already set so you want to set the X to zero Y to zero I'm gonna hide right here set the player dying to no player dying to end so remember all the uh, all the um, variables with the capital letters are for global. So if you have not made this variable, make it. It's called player dying. Make this variable. So you want to set the player dying to no. And I only put saws in two of the levels. So if it's equal to level two, I s remember you can use the mouse thing. I just made it at 65 130 that's where i put my saw and then i'm going to duplicate this if it's level three in the beginning you want to switch the costume to back to the first saw so it won't be on the rotating saw already so negative 63 and negative 85 that's where i put those and then i will duplicate this i guess and then I did one, one, two, eight, and 85. And then don't forget to set the X back to negative 99 since we're dealing with clones again. And then we can just delete the rest of the code. All right. Now you wanna also get the, the clone thing right here and the positioner to position it the green flag, and also the reset. And of course, the tick. All right. So let me just spread this out a little bit. Okay. So for here, we will not need the switch costume to pick random one to eight. We will not need the collected max. 
For here, we just want to switch the costume back to the stall one. So, so in the beginning, it will always, when a clone, it will always be the first costume for the saw. And then for the um, tick, uh, when I receive tick, we can keep this if it's touching the player. And, and player dying is equal to end. So set this to end. So if touching player and the player is dying is equal to end player dying is equal to n, then we will not need this right here. We don't need this right here. So once this is happening, we want to set the player dying to yes, because we, when the player is already dead, we don't want to keep on sawing it. So let's go player dying to y, if touching player and So we want to set it to y when it's touching it. So it's dead once it's touching it, and then we can broadcast a new message called player die. The player will receive this and it will die. Then after that, after it's done sawing, we set it back to no so it won't keep on sawing it and it won't keep on dying. Set it back to n. And one last bit of code for here. When I start as a clone, you want to forever Next costume, this is just for like this rotating saw animation, and I put a wait 0 0.05 seconds, so a very, very little pause, a very little pause, and then next, finally, not, not finally, but we have to add one last bit of code for the player, when I, when I receive player die, then we want to set the exit to dead to let the player know it's dead. Exit to dead. So up here we have the thing where if, where is it again? Oh yeah, if set, set the exit to, uh, if touching danger and set the exit to dead. So if the player is, if, when it receives the player die, when the chainsaw touches the player, it'll set the exit to dead. And finally, let's work on the portal positioning. So now we have four levels. We can't do this in levels less than two, so we have to change this four. Same with the danger. This has to be, oh yeah, not the danger. Uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, we have to set that for the saws. I mean, not the saws, the collectibles. So, for the uh, portal, we want to set the level if it's less than 4. So, if the level is equal to 1, we will... I put this position. It may not be the same for yours. So, I will duplicate a new cost... I mean, not a new costume, a uh, new if-then statement. So, this thing, duplicate this. If... It's equal to level two. If level is equal to level two, switch costume to close portal. So I put it at seven oh nine five four one, and I will duplicate that again. Oops, wrong one. Duplicate that again. And if it's equal to level three, then I set it at one two three five and 150. So I just found these positions by using the mouse thing. So now let's test out the game. So guys, I forgot to add the danger for level two and level three. So we will add that right now really quick. So I just set it for these positions, 150, 200, 360, and 100. And then um, next, I should duplicate this. So let's change it to level three. So I have these costumes right here. So instead of level one, three, two, one, we have to do three, one. And instead of level two, we do level three, like I said. And 360, 100, uh, not three, uh, 360. 
zero, zero, 360. So it'll just keep on going across. No Y position is changed. Duplicate this. And finally, the last bit of it. So level four, delete these two. And we just need to do level four, one. That's it. So let's try it out. So I have no music yet. I can add that later. Remember, you can still wall jump. Collect all the fruits. And go in the portal. And the Y scrolling is working fine because, you, as you can see, you can scroll up. And the saw is spinning around and you can get killed by it, as you can see. So your platformer should be looking like this. And we have the whole line of spikes here. And finally, level three, the last level. We have another saw right there. Oops. I just, uh, it's a little bit laggy right now. It's a little bit laggy. Okay, it's back to normal. Okay. Let me collect all these fruits. And boom, we're done. And on level four tomorrow, in the next video, we'll do the winning screen. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Like this video, smash the like button, and subscribe if you're newer to our channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.